This weekend we're up at Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, out on Big Detroit Lake. Uh, it's another ice race. It's another lake race. We got a seven mile course out here, just tight and twisty stuff and a couple wide open straights. We had 10 mile laps last time and two laps were good, so it's a good chance that three will work well here so you'll be get a 21 mile race. This weekend there's uh, upwards of 300 and some odd entries, I heard, um, which is a great number. Nice weather, a lot of big crowd, and we're having fun. Everybody's just excited to get out and race for sure with the low snow and everything and, and get out here and try it out. First race today went pretty well. Sleds are all running at five seconds apart, which is something new for us. I started way back in the pack. Uh, I was 16th off the line, experienced a lot of snow dust, a um, lot of traffic. Um, I think I was able to pass up into maybe fifth or sixth position. It's a little bit colder, you, you kind of trying to tape up your face and stuff, because it is a long race. You're out there for about half an hour going 100 miles an hour. You just tape up with some duct tape and make sure you got everything covered and tuck low behind the windshield and you stay pretty warm. Oh wow, we got a lot of them. Okay, immediately get to the staging area. We'll get our guys lined up and we'll get it going as soon as possible. Thank you. A little, a little cold and snow dusty today. Not a lot of breeze out there. Um, I don't know, but I should be starting out in the front, so it should be an advantage to me. I'm just looking to keep my fingers warm and, uh, you know, on the trigger. Second lap, number 311, Ross Bergman out of Rochester, Minnesota, on a Yamaha. First lap wasn't too bad today. Um, second lap, real tough to see. It's, it's pretty much like your eyes are closed. You just kind of look for the little red or orange signs. That's about all you can see. Uh, with the cold like this, there's like... It's like a cloud is over the lake. It's like driving in a snowstorm. When I took the second second lap, the white flag there, we were already into the guys that hadn't even started the race yet. So we're out there running um, alongside the amateur sleds and whatnot. So it was pretty hairy. You had to be careful not to just, you know, run into the back of them um, going wide open. It's just that blinding out there. You couldn't see much more than. 30 feet in front of you. But yeah, it's just a matter of you know being cautious, but at the same time you got to be aggressive and uh, you know just keep this keep the sled on two skis. Today I ended up in third place. Who, who am I looking at? Am I looking at you? Look at you. Me, today, today, to me, <laughs> today, today I ended up with third place. Uh, Ross Erdman got a third, um, and so or a fourth. Ross Erdman got a fourth. So a good weekend for us. In fourth place, a little disappointed with that. I thought I could move up today for sure, starting out in the front. Didn't happen, but yet uh, I guess fourth place finish. I'm um, still respectable right up there with the top guys. And um, you know we'll build on that and move from there for sure. So uh, this year we're really happy to have uh, Woody's on board with the factory Yamaha team. Woody's been around forever, supplies great traction products for all the stuff we do, especially out here in the ice. Without them, we can't get around the track on this. This is pure ice racing. We run somewhere between 144 and 196 studs in the in the tracks, big carbides in the ski, so these things will bite and they'll stick around. And, and uh, Woody's does a great job and takes great care of us uh, on this ice race. These are a stud that Woody's provides for us. Um, these are a sharpened version of a trail stud that tons of people use in the trail. We just sharpen them up so they're uh, razor sharp to penetrate the ice so we can get traction on the ice, braking, turning ability, and acceleration. And then up front, we put on these really big square bars as opposed to like a round bar that most people run on the trail and use a ton of them on the trail. We use these uh, eight inch sharpened square bars so that we can get these things to turn. Some guys end up with 10, some guys eights, kind of a preference, but that's how we get these things to penetrate on the ice and go around the corners. Yeah. 